Boston, that's the Golden State Warriors going up against the Boston Celtics here in Boston. Hello, everyone. With Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from our Hall of Famer on the sideline, David Aldridge. And here's a look at some numbers for Jason Tatum. And guys, he's fighting it a little bit at the free throw line. In the past 10 games, the stroke just hasn't been what we saw earlier in the season. He'll be trying to right that ship here tonight. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline in our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, DA. Thank you, Kevin. Marcus Smart stands six foot three, but he said, I can guard bigs, so I started making a joke. I'm a stretch six. Forget a stretch five. My teammates loved it, and it just stuck with me. He added, I'm the youngest of four boys, so I've been up against bigger guys. For me, that means nothing. Kevin? <laughs> Stretch six. I love that. Great stuff, David. Thank you. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Curry and Poole have the guard spots. Wiggins is out there with Thompson. And it's Green in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Celtics. Outside, the wings are Brown and Tatum. Bob Williams is out there with Horford. And it's Smart in the point guard. You know, it matters, but for those teams who had injuries or a rough stretch, you start to focus on those road games and prepare to steal some in the playoffs. Now, here's Curry. Knocked away. Stolen by Smart. Here's Tatum. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Tatum's got the opening bucket of the night here for Boston. What I like about Tatum, he moves his feet well, understands angles, and he plays more physical than advertised. Curry kicks to Poole. Curry with it. Now guarded by Smart. Pass to Thompson. Golden State moving it around. Poole no good. Here's Boston now. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Going inside. The shot comes out. Good D by Thompson. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Was that violent pinball style? Draymond draws a high number of fouls inside. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. Free throw missing. I mean, for Draymond, defense is still his calling card. The versatility to switch one through five, contain, get back, communicate, be in a position to help. He does it all. And he sinks the second. The Celtics on offense. We're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. Yeah, on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. And then it starts to become a mental block. Uh, you start to think, oh man, I can't. I can't miss the next one. And that one's good. Wiggins. And this is why Wiggins has become an efficient scorer, doing a much better job with his shot quality, and he loves now to attack inside. Here's Tatum, the layup off target. That's a shot they're always happy to get, even when he blows the finish. Hey, Chris, Andrew Wiggins uh, showing he is an elite shot blocker at his position. Well, Wiggins gets a lot of blocks at the moment to me, Kevin. When he gets to layup attempts, the shooters thought they were safe. I mean, not always Marcus obvious. Smart. He changes a lot of That's shots. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Curry against Smart. Stolen by Smart. An intelligent defense. He reads the play. Gets himself in the perfect position to come up with the steal. Horford against Wiggins. Horford the pass to Tatum. Six on the shot clock. Brown outside. 
shoots over Poole. Here's Williams, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Curry kicks to Thompson. Pass to Poole. They kick it out to Green. Here's Curry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. I mean, that's good as soon as he leaves his fingers out. I mean, he's not going to miss from there. The pass to Brock. And there's the drive. Here's Williams. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Play. Yeah, way to play in attack That's mode and get to the line. Foul. First team foul. The Celtics shooting their first free throws for the game Williams. on this trip to the line. And the looking line at the numbers this two. season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. And he makes the first. And the energy of Williams, it's infectious. Amazing at using it to block shots, rebound, score, whatever they ask of him. And Williams drops them both. Now here's Curry. He had 16 points in the win against Boston. Yes, and don't forget about his passing. I mean, he didn't forget about his teammates. He was spreading the ball all over the floor. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for Boston. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And he drives in. Man, what impressed me about Smart last year, and we're seeing it this year as well, his patience and precision as a playmaker. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Marcus Smart at the line for two shots. First free throw is good. At six foot four, 220 pounds, Marcus Smart might be the most physically imposing point guard in the league, especially with his fiery approach to the game. Kuminga's come in for Golden State. And so Smart nails both of them. Warriors trail by three. Curry passes to Green. Horford against Wiggins. Good work defensively by Horford. And the assist total show how far Smart has come. Averaging around three dimes a year at the start of his career. He's now doubling that effort when given the minutes. Good sign for him and this team. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Curry against Smart. Down low. Here's Wiggins. No good on the shot. And the Celtics going the other way now. Last time in San Francisco, they lost to the Warriors. Yeah, they dropped the last game of this matchup. Their bench wasn't able to keep up with the opposing reserves offensively. Now here is Horford. Just five on the clock. Here's Brown. Wiggins with the rebound. Warriors trail by five. Outside Curry. Poole with it. 
Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Shoots over Brown. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Smart against Curry. Nice shot by Smart. Just too physical. Smart shedding the defense and finishing strong. Warriors have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. Kuminga with it. Tatum on him. Kaminga kicks to Curry. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Tatum against Curry. Tatum down low. And he banks in the lane. Tatum's got his second basket of the game. Oh, refusing to let the defender alter his shot. Tatum's focus and drive is what helps him finish. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they might be pressing a little. I mean, forcing some things. And this is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. in work. He's averaging 10 points a game, 8 rebounds, and 3 assists. And what sets him apart is his rebounding. And as you can see, he's been in peak form. This last stretch, unbelievable tenacity going to the glass. It's been reflected in that stretch. Now here's Curry, one of the most consistent producers in the league. He's averaging around 25 and a half points a game. Wiggins with it, picked up by Brown. Can they get it? And good that time. Oh, don't forget about this fella for a second. He is the definition of dangerous. Outside Tatum. Over Green. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Curry's shot is good. Three-point shooting, mid-range, driving it, taking you off the dribble. I mean, all the elements of Curry's game is coming out over the course of a night. Now here's Smart. 20 points for him last game against the Warriors in San Francisco. Still plenty of time for him to contribute in this game, but it's a tough stretch he's going through. Inside. Here's Wiggins. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. Oh, he's got a roll in this quarter, taking it on himself to guide their offense. It's Williams high post. Green with the block. And there's the standout D of Green again. Excellent at utilizing his length to turn away shots. Passes to Poole. Fires for three. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got five rebounds tonight. Curry against Smart. He takes it in. Outside Horford. Tatum on the wing. He had a 27-point outing in the last game against the Warriors in San Francisco. Yeah, he rebounded. It stood out even more than me. I mean, uh, they could not keep him off the glass. Cool, the pass to Green. Now Curry. That's tipped. Stolen by Smart. Outside Tatum. Missile blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Celtics. They're setting the tone early with their defense, keeping the pressure on and taking chances. And they've got a bunch of steals to show for them. And one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnover. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Williams, he's checked in for Horford. White comes in for Jalen Brown. And it's Pritchard in for Marcus Smart. And that one falls for Tatum. And you think back to that 2017 draft. Scouts trying to poke holes in Tatum's game. 
but really he just needed a little time to develop his skills and get stronger. Looney down low, working on Williams. The shot by Looney, no good. Just doing the job on the backboard. To the inside. Knocked loose. Williams gets the bucket. Williams has got 10 points. And without naming names, it feels like Tatum, you know, is starting to dominate other all-stars at his position. And, and now his game is so complete. Regularly over 40% from three. He can drive it, post you up. The only success defenders have is when they guess right. Celtics leading by 10. Richard lays it up and banks it in. Right They're there. finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. On the wing, Porter guarded by Tatum. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Williams. Daniel Tice is checked in for Boston. By Elitza, he's checked in for the Warriors. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Porter against Tatum. Just five to shoot. And they get it. Porter, no luck. And for the Celtics, they're shooting at a nice 53% rate to start the game. They are sticking to the campaign. Here's Tatum. A shot that time, not on target. Ice D from Porter. He'll breathe a big sigh of relief if they hang on to win this game. He's not done much to contribute tonight. Curry's shot is off. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Curry. A minute 50 left to play here in the first. Here's Pritchard, and he finishes nicely on the way. Pritchard's got his second bucket tonight. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Now a timeout called by Golden State. We talk so much about Tatum's influence, Chris, at the offensive end, but he's become an impact defender as well. Instincts, length. You see he's got added muscle. I mean, Kevin, uh, that's what the best players do at this position. Think about it, LeBron, Kawhi, KD. All lockdown defenders when they put their minds to it. There's 138 left to play in the first quarter. Looney passes to Bialica. Here's Curry with the three, and the three ball is good. Curry's got seven points. This is where Curry does historical damage. I mean, prolific and efficient for range. Tatum wide open, he fires one from outside off the mark. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Back to Peyton from deep, and another three for Golden State. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Pritchard passes to Tatum. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Shot clock at five. This one for three. It's rebounded by Peyton. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Trailing here by eight. Porter, no luck. Boston's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Pritchard passes to Tice. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Porter. That's it's going to go on Otto Porter Jr. Austin shoot their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. At the line for your Celtics, Daniel Tice. At the line for two shots. That free throw, no good.
good on the second free throw. 20 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Outside Curry. From the arc. That one misses. And so the first quarter is in the books. Celtics lead by nine. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Well, he's won at the highest levels, and Steph Curry understands what's required to get back to that lofty position. Stay in the moment and just focus on here and now. Um, we have to follow that kind of you know, game plan. Um, stay in the moment, do what we do every single night, and go get it. Are you here to watch? Keeping your focus. And as much defensive attention as Curry commands on a nightly basis, he can't afford a lapse of focus. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And when you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what do you think? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. No question. It's been stifling thus far, preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. Williams is out there with Tatum. Then it's White. Then there's Daniel Tice. And it's Pritchard in at the point. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Uh, like a snake charmer, Curry mesmerizes the defender who makes a terrible play. And you look at how teams defend Curry, Chris. You have to grab and be physical, they say, to slow him down. Yeah, I mean, Curry is so difficult to ref. He gets fouled off ball on almost every play. But teams know they can't let him have free movement, or he'll hit him with a three. The free throw drops for Curry. You know, Chris, I remember back in the day and at one point in the Western Conference, they had you, they had Tim Duncan, they had Kevin Garnett, all Hall of Famers, all so great to watch. And yeah, we had some battles. I mean, you can't forget about guys like Dirk Nowitzki. We had to play two ways. Then if you were a four, you were a five. So David Robinson, Carl Malone, uh, Shaq. Yeah, that was all in a week's work. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics made the Eastern Conference Finals three times over four seasons, but last season, injuries and COVID protocols knocked them down a peg. Ownership and management are patiently staying the course. And with their young star talent, this team still has room to improve from within. Guys, back to you. Well, they're upside, and a lot of people's view remain. David, thanks. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Pass to Tatum from deep three-point range. No good on that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Their last game, a win against Boston, looking to carry it into this one. Well, it helps when your opponent makes that many mistakes. I thought that was the story of the game. And when they Boston kept hitting all, all those hits, they took advantage. Turnovers don't mean anything That's unless you first, turn them into points. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. The Celtics making a switch here. Rounds checked in. Shooting one. Could be Elisa, uh, his shooting comes to mind. He's a solid player who knows his role on his team. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Pritchard passes the ball. Here's Pritchard. He has six. Down to five on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. Poked loose. And here is Bielitsa. Pass to Thompson. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. And it's sent back by White. 
Over in the corner, Brown. Back to White. Takes it inside. The kick out to Brown. The Warriors pull it in. A fantastic effort on D to get up in his face and deny the layup. Bielitsa inside. He's covered by Brown. Bielitsa misses. And, and they continue to control the glass. Brown the pass to Pritchard. Back to Brown. Driving the lane. And the dunk by Brown. You gotta love how Brown finishes strong. Driving fast and hard to the cup for the rim rocking Shazam. White against Peyton. Now the pass to Curry from past the arc. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. Here's Pritchard. Yes, that goes in. Pritchard's got eight points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially timeout, on the timeout. interior. Timeout called the Warriors. But after winning the championship in Germany, uh, Tice came to the NBA in 2017 and immediately became an important part of the rotation. Yeah, coming up to the court. Come on and get loud. Here are the Suffolk Senators. Changes for Boston. Horford comes in for Williams. And Marcus Smart is subbed in for Pritchard. Different look here for the Warriors. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Looney. Andrew Wiggins comes in for Pilates. Kamingas come in for Peyton. And Poole subbed in for Stephen Curry. Now, here's Thompson. He picked up 21 points in their last win against Boston. You know, Chris, what's great about Tice is his positional versatility. Well, he can play the four or the five. And you know, he's a great rim runner. He can knock down the three here and there. Defensively, he shows well, even against great quickness. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Another three for Golden State. They're having more success from three-point range here in the second after a rough first quarter from deep. Brown outside. Is it to Smart? And here is Horford. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump fake. Warriors trail by five. Now Poole. 14 points from him the last game against Boston. Daniel Tice. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. The Warriors have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. Jordan Poole at the line for two. That's good from Poole. Williams is checked in for Daniel Tice. He's perfect from the line this time. Uh, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a post. Right the pass to Brown. Three-pointer. The Celtics get it back in a new 14. It's good. Horford's got his first bucket of the night. Such a skilled offensive rebound. I mean, I love watching Horford use his body to come up with the goals. Pass to Wiggins. 
and the jumper is on the mark. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. It's Brown with the drive. Shoots over Pool. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Oh, my goodness. This is the toughness that Brown exudes on a nightly basis. He's still to stand in control in difficult spots. And for everything he provides on offense, Chris, Brown's defense is just as impactful. Kevin Strong, tough, quick twitch athleticism. He plays with tremendous pride. Free throw good from Brown. Now that he's attracting so much defensive attention, Greg, Brown is routinely getting others involved. And how about his assist numbers have skyrocketed. And it's really not surprising. His sole focus is doing what's best for the team. Now, here's Brown. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Golden State. Yeah, his energy level in that game was amazing. He did all that work offensively and controlled the whole team. Yeah, the defender all over. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. For Boston, they have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. At the line for two. Free throw good from Brown. A player who does special things off the floor. Jalen Brown is an amazing role model for young kids. Very active on speaking about the importance of education and learning new languages himself. He hits both from the strike. Well, finally, he's getting himself to the line. He's gotten much more aggressive as the game is going on. Kaminga, the pass to Thompson. Pass to Kaminga. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Smart. For the finish. And slam dunk by Smart. That's just elite defense by Smart. Seizing the opportunity and taking it the other way. Poole, the pass to Thompson. Poole, bounce pass. And the call will go against Jonathan Kaminga. Jonathan and that'll be his third Kaminga. foul so far. Well, he's hoping to avoid a third Personal foul before foul. the breaker. Now, Second he might have to foul. sit out until halftime. Smart deciding where to go with it. Got a piece of it. Count it good. And now it's a 12-point Celtic lead. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Now here's Poole. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Oh, he found an open space for mid-range. Just maybe rush his release a little bit. And there's Brown. That's good on the assist by White. Brown's got the lead up to 14 now for the Celtics. Warriors have gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. Green, the pass to Kaminga. And the turnover again by Golden State. Boston ball. Quarter check in for Kaminga. Auto quarter. Celtics leading by 14. Brown outside. Oh, good on the three. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Thompson. And just miss after miss right now. 
no matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. No, doing anything they can to stop the bleeding, but so far they've had no answers. There's the pass to Horford. Here's Williams. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. 12 points for Williams. Yeah, he is a budding prospect. I like whenever Williams shows that determination on offense, and it looks like he wants to just take over. Corner outside. Can't hit that one. So the Celtics will take it the other way. White looking around. Brown outside. Shoots over pool. And that one hits back iron. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Warriors. It's a 16-point game. Thompson right side. Pocket six. Here's pool. The teardrop falls in. Pool's got four points in the quarter. <laughs> That's just great touch. The teardrop, well, that's all about fear. Passes it to Brock. On deep. The Warriors pull it in. Pass to Poole. Now, here's Thompson. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. A stronger guy is something. I mean, it's not enough just to bump play. You have to do more. Start with the ball. Now guarded by Porter. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Here's Brown. And the call Warriors on the shot ball. that sends him to the line. Thompson. No wasted trips four. at all. They're taking care of business at the line. For Boston, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. At the line for two shots. First free throw is good. And some changes here for the Celtics. Williams, he's checked in for Williams. Tatum comes in for White. And it's Pritchard in for Marcus Smart. Gary Payton has checked in for Golden State. Curry comes in for Poole. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Porter Jr. He's a solid player. He's on the court, though. The problem is staying on the corner. It's trouble by injury. All you have to do is point to their turnovers this quarter. There's a reason the scoreboard looks like it does. The Celtics on offense. They're on a 16-6 run. Outside Tatum. Trying to break that ice-cold streak. Green with the rebound. As you said, Chris, with Porter, he helps this team when he's available. It's not going to get any easier as he gets older. I mean, he helps this team with his shooting as well as his length. You can just hope he can crack 60 games in any given season. And Boston has possession. Following the miss by Andrew Wiggins. Here's Horford. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Warriors trail by 13. Tipped away. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Kerr. Horford dishes to Tatum. A shot's good on the assist by Horford. Tatum's got 10 points. Oh, man, the awareness and the IQ of Horford looks so adept at getting the ball to his open teammates. Peyton against Brown. No good from Peyton. Austin leading by 16. Brown outside. Porter against Tatum. Pass to Pritchard. His three pointers off the mark. Warriors have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the second quarter. A nice, efficient 50%. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Wiggins surveying the floor. And the Warriors miss again. 
Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. He just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. Curry with it. From deep three-point range, sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. Three points. Curry's got nine points now in the quarter. And so it's the Boston Celtics riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. And they've created a bunch of turnovers with that terrific D. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thank you. With Draymond Green, Draymond rebounding a bit of a struggle. How do you improve that? Pitcher man, you know, get five guys to the boards. Guards get in there and clean up those boards that's loose, but you know, our big guys got to hold our mans off, and we've been doing that this half. We'll see if all five can get you more boards in that second half, Dre. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Out in front of the half is Boston. They lead by 15. Kenny, give us your tip. Well, they killed it on the glass. And they did it with high-level fundamentals. Blocking out, maintaining position, and going up strong to the basket. If they board like that in the second half, this lead will continue to grow. Jack, what are your thoughts on Golden State? First question, why can't they hold on to the ball? I mean, they've been loose as heck with it, Ernie. Not even getting shot up on several possessions. Even if you take a bad shot, they can't get those in. Or you get a fancy ball. But hold on to the ball. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. This game has his fingerprints all over it. Now looking to replicate what he did in the first half. So it's the Celtics now. They led by as many as 18 points. While we've got a moment, let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Curry and Poole have the guard spots. Porter is out there with Wiggins, and it's Green in at the five. First team foul. Substitution for the Warriors. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Williams finds Smart. That'll be Boston as it goes out of bounds. Oh, so it's retained possession. Oh, Horford the pass to Tatum. Six to shoot. Nice ball movement by Boston. From deep. You can't get that one to fall. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That's his first. That is his first foul of the game. First yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Curry against Smart. Stolen by Smart. Brown outside. And he uses the glass on the way. Brown's got the first bucket of the third here for the Celtics. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Smart against Curry. Over Smart. Curry can't get it to go. And so it's Smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Celtics. Haven't given up any points here in the second half. 
They get a hand on it, and the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touch by Wiggins. Outside Tatum. And have to love that tenaciousness there by Wiggins. He has all the tools to be a great defender. And Poole gets it to go. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, the D is worrying too much about the other four guys. I mean, they can't give him open jump. Now here's Williams. good now he's shooting six for seven he does all the little things i mean he does the big things I mean, he's got them in front with another outstanding performance out to thompson and there's the pass to pool and a miss there on the triple just a solid performance on the interior the rebounding has been off the charts tatum dishes to horford it's stolen by Green. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Thompson against Tatum. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Five to shoot. It's stolen by Green. Wiggins finds Poole. Outside Curry. A three ball. Green breaking loose. A shot by Curry. No good. Celtics leading by 17. 13 feet away. Andrew Wiggins grabs the board. Golden State's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. It's Curry with the drive. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got four assists now tonight. Oh, that's just great instincts. Tremendous handle. Steph can, can take you any way he wants to off the drive. Tatum's shot is off. This three-point game hasn't been there for him today, but don't sleep on him. At any moment, he could get his touch back. Brown feeling out of it, and it's good. Two points. Brown's got four points now in the quarter. It's amazing. The development of Brown as a scorer, and he's an exciting two-way talent. He's showing us all that tonight. Timeout called the Warriors. Great play in most of your career in the 90s. The game has really changed. Less physical, more skilled, but what role has the league played in all of that change? Well, the, the NBA is at the forefront of these changes. The competition committee that they have that meets annually to discuss ways to try to improve the game. Listen, they're not going to always knock it out of the park, but you have to keep thinking forward. And I applaud the league for their attempts to try to improve this game and grow. Daniel Tice is checked in for Boston. Then for the Warriors, Kevon Looney is checked in for Draymond Green. Bialica comes in for Wiggins. And Kaminga subbed in for Jordan Poole. And the basket by Curry. Curry. As hot as he's been, it, it still has to be him who leads the charge and helps turn this game around. Celtics leading by 15. Here's Smart. He's got eight. Tatum, that's for two. Rebound by Bialica. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. And Thompson throws it down. Now, look, he's surprisingly agile and trivial. Thompson cutting right into the quarter D with his hands. Smart kicks to Brown. Passes it to Tice. Here's Horford. Makes it off the glass. Horford's got his second bucket of the night. Oh, forget about three-pointers. Give me a look from right in tight. I'll take it all day long. Curry passes to Thompson. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. The shot's good from Tice. Oh, the assist by Smart. And I think his playmaking is coming along. Curry passes to Looney. He leads her with it, and it's Horford picking him up. 
And here is Bielitsa. He averages a bit over six points a game. He hasn't had anywhere near the same touch he had in the first half. Zero corners in this half compared to three in the first. Now here's Smart. They lead by 17. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Looney. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Their inside game has been great tonight. So much of their scoring has come from the paint. Yeah, and the other thing that they've done well is they've really attacked the gaps of the defense with quick, decisive drives down the lane. That's good from Tice. And some changes here for the Celtics. Williams, he's checked in for Horford. White comes in for Jalen Brown. And it's Pritchard in for Smart. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Warriors trail by 19. Now Thompson. He's got six. And there's the foul. Walking it's on Peyton Pritchard. That's, That's foul number two for him. Foul. And really, second these are some ball. of the toughest calls an official has to make. Now, here's Kaminga. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Shot clock at six. Curry kicks it to Looney. Comes up empty down low. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Well, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove this amount. Here's Curry. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Looney passes to Curry. Hands it from downtown. Curry's got seven points here in this quarter. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. Outside, White. Williams dishes to Tatum. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Pritchard. White, wide open. He fires. And it's off from three-point range. Warriors trail by 18. And Kaban Looney still relatively young, but injuries have slowed down his mobility. He moves like a 15-year veteran and thinks and plays like a 15-year veteran. Very reliable and well rounded And here's White after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. Now here's Kaminga. He's tightly guarded. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. And the Warriors with some changes. Otto Porter Jr. comes in for Bialitz. And it's Peyton in for Clay Thompson. On its way from Curry for two. And that one comes up a bit short. Pass to Pritchard. Shoots over Kaminga. Offensive rebound. Tice lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Tice has got his third basket of the night right there. Kaminga the pass to Peyton. Here's Looney. Outside Curry. Pass to Porter. Six on the shot clock. Puts it up from 12. Jump shot is good. Porter. Porter's got his first points of the night. The in-between game of Porter continues to improve. A legitimate score from this area. Pritchard passes to Tice. Chalk up two there. Another Tice. bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now here's Peyton. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. 
Up top, Porter. He's guarded by Williams. Williams against Porter. Puts up a three. Rebound, Boston. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Now here's White. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Tice passes to Pritchard. Off target from outside. And here's Curry who brings it up for Golden State. Trailing by 17. And the shot is good. Well, in terms of size, that's a mismatch he'll exploit every time, especially inside. Pritchard passes to White. He kicks to Tatum. Over Pete. And he overshot that one, missing. Warriors trail by 15. Curry passes to Kaminga. Two points. That one goes. This is what makes Curry special on the offensive end. The ability to create for himself and others at the highest level of the game. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Pools checked in for Golden State. One shot. That free throw good from Kaminga. Celtics leading by 12. Here's Pritchard. Eight points for him. Banked in off the glass. Pritchard's got 10 points in the game. His teammates keep getting him the ball in his favorite spots. He's done a lot for his shooting percentage. Peyton outside. Cool with it. He's got six. And stolen by Tatum. Pulls up. It's, in the it's rebounded by Kaminga. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, he's just hit a rough patch. He's trying to climb out of it, but he hasn't been successful. Now here's Peyton. It's Porter outside. The rebound by the Celtics. Richards got four rebounds in this game. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have, you're right. Well, he's not going to get it easier than that. You don't need to double team him, but you can't leave him all alone. And the pass to Peyton. Here's Looney, defended by Tice. Looney kicks to Poole. And here is Kaminga. He's got five. And again, no good by Golden State. Celtics leading by 17. Back to White. There's 57 seconds left in the third. Nobody near Williams. No good on the triple. Now, here's Poole. Guarded closely. Doesn't go for him. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. That's tipped. Now Porter. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Let's it go with a three. And it's White with the rebound. White's got six rebounds now in the game. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to drop. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. Tice. Good. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got three assists in the game. Porter looking it over. Mask pool. The end of the drought. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Williams, that's his second personal foul. Fourth team foul. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And 
and he knocks down the first one. is no good. And so it's the Boston Celtics holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on a platter and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Outside, the wings are smart and brown. Horford is out there with Rob Williams. And it's Pritchard in a point. That's the Boston Five. Now, here's Poole. Six to shoot. Wiggins kicks to Poole. Green breaking loose. Poole no good. His touch has been off tonight. And now his judgment is off, too. Oh, it's not a small shot. Here's Pritchard. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his It's going to go on Otto Porter Jr. First team foul. At the line, Peyton Pritchard. At the line for two shots. The first one at the line is good. Good on both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Warriors trail by 20. Outside, Porter. Thompson in the corner. No good from outside. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Porter. Green with the block. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Just four to shoot. From deep three-point range. And it's Brown missing. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Yeah, and I have too, which is why they're okay with it. I'm sure if he gets that kind of look again, he's going to let it fly again. Now here's Wiggins, and Thompson oh, throws it down. Thompson. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a scorer. Pass to Williams. Pass to Horford. Smart with the ball. Lock at six. That shot, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Poole with it, 
And it's Horford picking him up. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack the confidence. No, absolutely not. And in his mind, no one can stop him on that, no matter the size. And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. That's good from Poole. Here's Pritchard. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. Now, sometimes you don't need a haymaker, just, just a jam. You, you got to get those easy looks inside. Green kicks to Thompson. And the Warriors miss again. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Boston. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Smart against Curry. Smart passes to Brock. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Oh, and check out the handles of Brown. Just destroy anyone in his path. It's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Celtics, Jalen Brown. At the line, shooting one. Starting with the 2021 season, the G League welcomed the Ignite team. Few top prospects to join it, skip college. Uh, Chris, how do you like that? You know, I think it's great. I mean, getting 17, 18 year olds into pro ball, uh, you know, really know that's where they uh, want to end up. The grueling schedule is a huge adjustment. Uh, the physical aspect, eating right, working out, uh, time management, I, I think it's a great step to help you prepare for this tough game. That's his second. He's such a physical ball. player. Williams Two has ball. no off switch, he is, which is line. how he gets Robert these calls. Williams at the line for two shots. Two. Two. That's good from Williams. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Warriors trail by 19. Now, here's Poole. The pass to Curry. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Celtics making a switch here. Tatum's checked in. Team foul. Coming on to the floor for the Celtics. Jason Tatum. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Smart dishes to Horford. And here's Tatum for three. A shot's good on the assist by Horford. Horford's got three assists now in this one. Curry passes to Green. Golden State moving it around. Back to Curry. Oh, that's blocked. Unbelievable rejection from Smart here. Really using his insane vertical to send that one back. Passes it to Horford. Williams trying to break free. Horford gets the bucket. Six points for Al Horford. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And Thompson kicks to Poole. 
Horford against Curry. Softly drops in the floater. Curry's got 12 points here in the second half. Oh, and that's the floater Curry has perfected. I mean, difficult for the defense to predict exactly when he's going to use it. Outside, Horford. Yep, that one goes. Horford's got four points this quarter. Well, not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Outside, Green. Back to Curry. Fires from deep. The rebound by the Celtics. Right side, Smart. Outside, Horford. Tatum on the wing. He's covered by Thompson. Brown against Green. Five on the clock. Feeds to Williams. Shoots over Poole. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Wiggins has got four rebounds now tonight. The drive by Green. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. All right, Greg, I'm going to put you on the spot. Who do you think right now has the best backcourt in the NBA? Oh, my goodness. I mean, so many terrific backcourts to choose from. Two shots. You know, Phoenix has got to be in that conversation with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. But I'll tell you what. With the Splash Brothers healthy and back at it, it's just hard to beat that combination. No good on the free throw. No good at the strike this time. The second misses also. And they are shooting themselves in the foot here. They've lost their touch at the line. The percentage continues to drop from where it was in that first half. Here's Wiggins. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. Well, you can't assist overcommit when Green has the ball. He'll make you pay by finding the open teammate. Pass to Brock. Cruel with the steal. Green against Horford. The shot misses. Good D by Williams. Celtics leading by 22. Here's Brown. Boston. No good that time either. Warriors have gone 5 of 12 from the field entering the fourth quarter. Wiggins finds Curry. There's the triple. And Tatum pulls it down. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Horford. And now that we've gotten a taste of it, Greg, what do you think of the play-in tournament? I, I love it. I mean, it definitely has some pros and cons. You want to keep as many teams as possible engaged down the stretch, but it's a long season, and for some teams, it just got a little bit longer. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. present our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Boston has possession. Brown outside. Six to shoot. Pass to Tatum. The Celtics need to get a shot off from 11 feet away. Boston, no good that time either. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. The pass to Poole. Curry looking around. 
Poole with it. Fires the three. And Boston with the rebound. Smart's got four rebounds in this game. Brown with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Brown. Good. Brown's got 21 in the game. Well, with great physical and athletic tools, Brown's adept at pushing past contact. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That's foul number two for him. And back in the day, Greg, Allen Iverson got criticized for devaluing practice. Now we've got healthy players sitting out of games. Has load management gone too far, you think? Not a practice, but a game. We got guys missing games, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. But I, honestly, I'm really all for load management in this regard. If I owned a team and I had to invest $200 million in a player, I want to do everything I can to prolong my investment. And the reality is we've got our stars playing at unprecedented lifts at higher levels later in their career. So I'm all for doing what we can to prolong the careers of our very best players. Here's Curry. Marcus Smart picking up that last basket. Poole on the wing. And he makes good on the layup. Jordan, it's Poole. getting hotter the deeper we get into this game. I mean, he didn't give him, didn't give him much of anything in the first half. Nice ball movement by Boston. Green with the block. And he gets it back. Williams gets the bucket. Williams. Warriors shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby, 38%. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And he recovers it. Good recognition by Draymond. I mean, he Robert sees that he has Williams. the defender right where he wants That's him. That's his oh, personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Golden State, Draymond Green. At the line for two. He's off on the first. We're so fortunate to have so many versatile bigs in today's NBA, Chris. But of those bigs, who do you enjoy watching the most? Oh, well, I love watching Jokic and, and, and Bede. I mean, have you seen what those guys can do? Post up, step out, hit threes, uh, control that corner action. And they're able to carry their team. And the Warriors making a change here. Bielitsa, he checks in for Wiggins. Descano Anderson comes in for Thompson. Moody's checked in for Poole. And Lee's subbed in for Stephen Curry. And then Brown with the dunk. What an athletic play from Brown, showing off his mad hops from his jam. The Warriors shooting under 40% all in all for the game. Brown against Lee. Passes to Moody. Back to Lee. Pass to Green. Four on the clock. Over Neesmith. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Kicks to Brown. To the middle. Here's Horford. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Lee. And Horford is rolled inside, I mean, which is what forces the defense to compromise and hack him. At the line, Al Horford. At the line for two. Two shots. Relax on the first. Free throw drops for Al Horford. We're seeing a lot of top high school players opting for the G League over college now, Greg. What's your advice to top young players on their path to the NBA? And well, Kevin, I think you just answered it. It's their path. And I, and I don't think the same path is right for everybody. There are going to be a lot of talented young men and women who want to go to college for the experience, you know, for the environment, uh, for the networking, right? So you're going to make some of the best friends you'll ever have in, on a college campus. Having said that, though, some kids aren't in the college, aren't in the school. They want to just go and pursue their passion and their, their craft. And that's why I think the G League and the developmental leagues that are out there are so good for these young players. Now, here's Neesmith. Pass to Horford. 
back to Stauskas. Takes the three. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Nick Horford's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Violates a pass of two. Toscano. Lee outside. The pass to Moody. It's deflected. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Boston. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And for the year now, they'll have 52 wins under their belt. Just a quality win, and, and you look at the box score and some really good numbers. For Marcus Smart. What a teammate he was tonight, setting guys up for layups and open jumpers on, on what seemed like every possession. Celtics on offense. Nee Smith, the pass to Stauskas. To the paint. Here's Cornette. He's off on that one, and it's the Warriors taking it the other way. And here is Bielitsa. Seventeen seconds left in the game. Lee passes to Bielitsa. Lee outside. They need this. Al Horford with the rebound. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Marcus. It is obvious you never mind sacrificing your body to make the big play. How do you lay it on the line physically? Um, just really, you know, uh, influence my teammates. You know, I lead by example. You know, they see the energy I bring, and I just hope it rubs off on those guys. It certainly did tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Chris Webber, Greg Anthony, and David Alt. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.